Let's get to uh, the uh, some of the interesting news of the day. Uh, Bernie Sanders has come out with a plan. He's not, you know, he's um, he's the first one to come out with a full fledged plan. To be fair, uh, Cory Booker um, came out, uh, uh, or at least was talking about a um, a uh, a job guarantee uh, pilot program. Um, uh, in uh, rural areas, because um, Kristen Gillibrand backed the idea on Twitter this month. She didn't come out with a plan. Uh, Cory Booker, like I said, uh, last week announced his intention to introduce a separate bill that would create a pilot program for a job guarantee in 15 rural and urban areas. Uh, Sanders' job guarantee is uh, is broader. Um, the federal government... Will uh, be pay will pay fifteen dollars an hour in healthcare benefits to every American worker who wants or needs uh, a job. Embracing, uh, you know, obviously this is a, a, a big government uh, plan. Uh, it would fund hundreds of projects throughout the United States aimed at addressing priorities such as infrastructure, caregiving, the environment, education, and other goals. Uh, I mean, obviously there's a lot of um, uh, details to be revealed, like. Um, what are the implications for someone who doesn't want a job? Uh, what are the implications for, you know, uh, there's already, I guess, uh, 2,600 uh, job centers across the country, 2,500 job training centers across the country. Um, they would essentially be responsible for um, uh, uh, finding local infrastructure projects or uh, local jobs and hooking up people through there. So there's, you know, already a bit of an infrastructure that exists. Uh, it would just involve a uh, slight reorientation for these things. More details will come out. But the funniest thing about this, okay, and there's a lot of, look, there are a lot of legitimate questions. What Do, do you still have uh, unemployment insurance? Do you provide uh, cash assistance to people who don't want to uh, work? Um, you know, th there's, there's a whole um, a litany of, of questions about this that, that need to be worked out and debated and whatnot. And obviously, this is something that is uh, aspirational based upon who's in Congress now and even who you could anticipate would come in Congress in the future. But the, the, the funniest part about this is to listen to the right-wing critique of this proposal because they don't have the policy chops to even come up with, you know, some of the snags that, you know, I think off the top of our heads we could come up with here. And these things need to be debated, whatnot. But they are essentially just attacking the goals and making it sound like it's a bad thing. Here's Stuart Varney providing the perfect example for why it's so difficult for them to argue against. Well, Bernie Sanders wants uh, oh. the minimum wage to I go should, up oh, to I should, I should say, I, I should say, um, this is, uh, uh, Varney is meeting with the Fox and Friends in the morning. So everybody, the Brain Trust. The Brain Trust. That's let's the Brain Trust. Let's throw this around. This is our own, like, private think tank. No. Well, Bernie Sanders wants uh, oh. the minimum wage to go up to at least 15 bucks an hour, and he wants the federal government to guarantee everybody who wants a job should get one, <laughs> and they'll be paid that. It's called a vote-buying operation. That's what it is. $15 an hour. All right, pause it for one second. Just like, now, under this definition of vote-buying, anything that you suggest that you're going to do uh, for the American people, like, let's say, I don't know, make America great again would be considered a vote buying exercise. But let's biggest continue. vote buying operation vote buying. in so history. Going of the world. to provide people with more opportunities. Okay. Good. $15 an hour, a government job with benefits guaranteed by the government. Who pays for that? that it I have a clue. Same people that pay for free college. I'm sure it will be tax the rich because the rich should be paying their fair share. In fact, the rich already... <laughs> like, that, like, he's just basically written the ad for Bernie Sanders that would, like, we're going to give you a guaranteed um, a decent living wage and, you know, health care. And address and inequality. Who's going to pay for it? The people who need to pay their fair share. Uh, yeah. yeah, they put up a pretty badass picture of him. 
him too. I was going to say. He's doing it. I like that though. It's all like, there's a lot of unforeseen consequences to this. Right. People's lives might improve. <laughs> Life expectancy might go up. There's a lot of factors we're not considering Children here. Like, could eat yeah, food. There might be less human misery. Fewer people could live in squalor, but they won't tell you that right, right out of the yeah. gate. There's this a lot of things yeah, they're not of considering. A lot of agendas like easier life. <laughs> People that pay for free college. I'm sure it will be tax the rich because the rich should be paying their fair share. In fact, the rich already pay the vast majority of taxes in this country. And I'm sure that Bernie Sanders will be saying a guaranteed job for all paid for by the rich. Is that even it's a possible to do? Is it possible even guaranteed? It, it, my biggest criticism, it's a non-starter. Is it? Well, no, but that's like that's like saying it would be great if it started, but it doesn't seem to be starting. And the only reason why I'm talking about it is it seems to be starting. So good. Possible to do. Is it possible to even guarantee that there'll be jobs for everyone? No. It's like free college for Frankly, everyone. Frankly, it's not. I don't think it is. And can you imagine the vast bureaucracy which you will have to create to provide a government guaranteed job for everyone? Positive. Another- In other words, you'd have to create a bunch of jobs. To create a bunch of jobs for people. Yes, you would have to create, it. the bureaucracy would have to grow. But guess what? That's going to help you with your goal of giving everybody a job. Because they can get a job in helping people find jobs. A government guaranteed job for everyone. Another big bureaucracy. You'll never get rid of it. And do we need it? At a time when this economy is a fully employed economy, along comes Bernie Sanders and says, oh, 15 bucks an hour plus benefits or for any job that we will guarantee. Now, pause it for now. The, the problem with uh, Stewart's argument there is, do we really need it? Well, if we don't need it, then you won't need to build such a big bureaucracy. Uh, the idea is that maybe there'll be times in the future where uh, you don't have 4% unemployment. And, of course, there's a lot of people who are underemployed, and they're not getting even close to 15 Yes, but, now. Sam, you're not considering the general improvement of human life that can come out of this policy. Welcome back to another edition of Good Problems to Have with Stuart Varney. Varney. Right, yes. Where I d- 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 well, on not only the innate benefits of policies, but even unforeseen other positive consequences <laughs> of them as well. Watch, now watch the uh, Fox and Friends jump in like, you know, like we're going to pour some fuel on this fire like and people are going to be happier is a fully employed economy along comes bernie sanders and says oh 15 bucks an hour plus benefits for any job that we will guarantee he's also talking about automatic everybody gets a thousand bucks uh, a month. Is that in his That's, univer- that's yeah. a, a, no. a politician who's come up with universal pay. And he was on my show yesterday. Right. His name is Yang. And right. he wants $1,000 per month from the government to every single adult between the age of 18 and 64. He says it'll cost $2 trillion. And you but- say that too is a vote buy-in. Oh, are you kidding me? Okay. Of course. <laughs> you know, uh, oh, incidentally, and uh, completely unrelated, uh, the... Um, uh, New congressional research has come out uh, today about the, um, the the provision in the Republican tax plan um, and how much it's going to cost uh, to to fund. Um, according to a congressional report released Monday, uh, you, you'll recall Congress controlled by Republicans. Uh, but this, of course, from the CBO, they're nonpartisan. Um, Donald Trump's uh, tax deduction for paths through uh, businesses. Um, will shower $40.2 billion in tax breaks on owners of pass-throughs. So good news for Stuart Varney. The rich now have more uh, money to pay in their taxes or as I from call the it, uh, tax cuts. Or as I call it, uh, vote buying. That's vote buying. Mm. Remember when FDR said you have nothing to fear but fear itself and that we would defeat fascism? That's the most rank case of vote buying I've ever heard <laughs> yes. in American history. We would Just beat disgusting. the Germans. Right, of course, because you want people to vote for you. <laughs> Imagine Stuart Varney with his wife like if i took the garbage out and spoke to you respectfully i would be manipulating you <laughs> that's not how i handle relationships <laughs> that would not be like all. bribery i thought the poor were all supposed to want to get jobs but i guess it's just you know the crappier ones that don't pay 15 dollars an hour that's fine well i think you just answered your own question right there 
<laughs> it's not paid a sub-poverty wage in some type of depressing fast food environment. How could you maintain shouldn't... your poverty? Yeah, how well, could you? You could you... never be a poor person getting yeah, a job exactly. if you were poor anymore. Now, think beyond the degrading, impoverished, abuse job in and of itself. There's all sorts of other ancillary benefits. They have terrible lives. They don't have the energy to ask for more. They don't have the ability to organize themselves.